Yeah, it's it's been great, and I've loved being back here and mm-hmm. being. Uh, you know, I tell people all the time, there's no other place. There's lo- lots of places I like to go. Yeah, um, but there's no other place I'd want to live. Um, right. At least permanently, I could maybe live three or four months somewhere. Um, but Oklahoma is always home, and uh, we were joking before we started this. We were talking about um, my friend Shannon at Oklahoma Hall of Fame, and. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we're just, we both love Oklahoma and everything there is about it. The people, uh, the character of the people, the, the spirit, everything about it, um, is kind of who we are. Uh, and so I would never want to be anywhere else. And I love that our family business is here and that we can grow it and not just be in Oklahoma. We can do stuff outside of the state. Right. Um, and technology allows us to do that without having to mm-hmm. move to Houston or move to, you know, some other place where all the other oil companies are, or other things are going on. We can stay here and, um, kind of promote Oklahoma and show people that, Hey, there are great things going on. Yeah. Here. Continuing to grow and keep doing this thing. And like, it's i'm sure you've seen you know i i've been here too long but i've been here longer to see it change so i can't imagine what it's been like for you to grow up in it and see everything that's coming that's, that's how happened. i know i'm getting old because <laughs> i i think of like you know we still call uh the hefner parkway you know the lake road because yeah. you know, when i was growing up i mean that didn't i, I don't think lake hefner parkway came till i was in college um, in the early 90s, if I remember right, because I brought back some friends my freshman year, and it was still like a four-lane asphalt road right. um, out there. And then we came back, when they came back for uh, Kristen and my wedding in 98, they were like, oh my gosh, like it's totally different than it was seven years ago. Like we drove all these different places, and it's true. I mean, yeah. a lot happened kind of in that time frame, the 90s, if you will, uh, here right. in Oklahoma City to kind of set the stage for where we are today. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's great. It's been fun to see uh, see the changes and see, um, you know, I would have never guessed growing up that we would have a professional basketball team here. Um, yeah. I mean, that's, you know, the joke was always, oh, well, maybe we'll get an NHL team. Um, and I say joke just because it was it seemed so far fetched. I mean, we had like three or four different right. semi-professional hockey teams that people didn't even know what nobody like, cared. About. Nobody knew what the hockey rules were. They just went to watch them fight yeah. and had no idea what the actual rules of <laughs> hockey were. And so the idea that we would have a professional Actually, yeah. team come here seemed like I don't know how that's going to work. Um, but then to be here when the Hornets came and to see the way the city embraced that situation and where we are today. Um, you know, it's great. I, I think it's something that those of us that grew up here and, you know, love Oklahoma have probably told people yeah. our entire lives. Um, at SMU, there were plenty of Oklahoma people, um, but a lot of Texas people, a lot of people from California. Um, and I'm, I was always shocked at how many people at SMU in Dallas had never spent any time or even been to Oklahoma and uh, it was great to be able to share you know my hometown with them and uh, show them around and so it's even better now having something like the Thunder that people nationally can see and be like oh those seem like pretty great people yeah, there. Yeah, and then okay. they, they come here and like, oh, there's actually more than a basketball team here. There's actually some other cool stuff as right. well. Right. No, there, I mean, culturally, we've grown uh, tremendously. Uh, I think just the whole, I think the thing that the Thunder gave people in Oklahoma City was just kind of a little more pride. I think, yeah. you know, for a lot of times people were, or for a long time, not me, but I think a lot of people were embarrassed to be from Oklahoma because they thought, right. oh, all these other places are way better. Um, you know me well enough to know that, you know, I kind of like to be the thorn. Um, and so I, I have no problem. Yeah. I've always been a proud Oklahoman. And, you know, whether we would travel when I was a kid to New York or to, you know, California or wherever, and people would ask where we were from, I would always say Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And they're yeah. like, where? Yeah. And like Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Like, what, how do you not know where that is? Yeah. Um, and when in college, when we would travel places, people would 
you know, be like, oh, he's from Oklahoma. And I was like, no, I'm from Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's it's been great to see the city grow and to see um, the people here. I mean, my kids, um, you know, are happy to be from here. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's great for kids to grow up here, go out, experience other things, and then make their own decision whether they want to come back right. or not. But there's a lot to come back to now. So. Yeah. 